Hello everybody, how you doing? Here I am in Cactus Force, probably 15-20 miles west of Tucson. Very easy to get to, no long gravel roads. It's paved till you get to that one road. And I'm not that far down the road. I got lucky and found the camp up front. I do have neighbors, as you can see. There's a camper. And you can see the cactus is taller than the camper. That's one thing about the drone. It don't really show you the size of these cactus. I mean, they're just huge and they're everywhere. The ground is not flat like it looks on the video. It does go up and down a little bit which makes for great views when you're walking through the desert. Very, very cool. There's my closest neighbor. Haven't talked to him. I waved at him once. They're younger people and they tend to party a little bit at night. But that's okay. I can't hear them in the van when I got TV on. There I am to the left in the center. That little black dot kind of gives you some scale of uh, everything around me. Look, you can see the shadow of the drone there. There's a nice 360 of the camp at a lower level. And oh, by the way, on the way in, this spot, I backed into a cactus. I didn't hurt the cactus. The really only thing that hit it was the bike. And what'd that do? It flattened the back tire. <laughs> so now i got to buy a new tire and tube. But that's okay. I've done replaced the front tire and tube. Easy peasy down at Walmart. And the bike will be runnable again. I really miss not having the bike. Love riding it through the desert. So anyways, I thought I'd cruise across here across the road and, and fly just over the trees and try to get a good picture that way so I raise the drone above the tree and when I take off what's it do it drops a couple inches <laughs> so I gotta get my pole out with the smiley face on it walk over to the tree and knock it out of the tree of course it falls to the ground splits up in about three or four pieces I put it back together, took it back over where I like launching it, and bam, there she goes again, works just fine. Here we go back up. I got this drone in Alva, Florida, probably about three and a half years ago. 160 bucks, bought four batteries. I'm down to one good battery. They don't make it anymore, and that requires me to use the old phone, my old phone, to fly it because the app is not updated for the new phone. Once I get done flying it, I got to move the video from the drone to the old phone. And then I got to move the video from the old phone to the new phone. And that's where I edited at. So I don't know how long I'm going to have this drone. This might be the last flight. I might get one or two more flights out of it. It's been a good drone though. I've got a lot of video for the price. Good video. So anyways, I highly recommend this place. You all should check it out to get out this way. There I am. You all have a great day. I know I will. Peace and love. Catch you all later.